Prince Philip and Sarah Ferguson's frosty relationship still has consequences for the Duchess of York, 27 years after separation from Prince Andrew, and the Duke of Edinburgh even tried to evict her from cohabiting with her ex-husband, according to an expert. Prince Philip and Sarah Ferguson's long-standing feud has been back in the headlines this month, as the Duchess of York appeared to make a hasty exit from Balmoral ahead of Philip's early arrival. The reported bad blood between the pair stretches back to 1992, when the Duchess, affectionately known as Fergie, embarrassed the royal family, and famously ruined breakfast at Balmoral, when the now infamous toe-sucking photographs were splashed across the front pages of the nation's newspapers. However, in more recent years, Prince Philip's dislike for the Duchess has led him to attempt to evict her from the royal residence she still shares with Prince Andrew to this day, according to an expert. Writing in 2011 in Vanity Fair, veteran American journalist Edward Klein said, as for the Queen's irascible consort, Prince Philip, he hasn't done much to help his wife clear the way ahead. Philip's almost irrational loathing of Sarah Ferguson led the Queen, who normally shows shrewder judgment, to cast Fergie out of the royal orbit without a penny after her divorce from Andrew, which guaranteed that Fergie would turn into a high-profile beggar and an embarrassment to the throne. What's more, Philip tried to bully Andrew into kicking Fergie out of her residence at Royal Lodge a demand that placed Andrew in the awkward position of having to choose between his father and his ex-wife. He chose her. After the pair's 1992 separation, Fergie moved back into the family home of Sunning Hill Park with Andrew, eventually following him to the Royal Lodge in Egg Rounds of Windsor Castle. In the years since, Fergie's claims to have been award nothing in her high-profile 1996 divorce from Prince Andrew have been roundly criticized by palace courtiers. Nevertheless, the Duchess of York walked away with significantly less than Princess Diana's staggering £17 million divorce settlement in the same year. Fergie's decision to refuse a confidentiality agreement in the split meant that she could go on to publish details of her life in the royal family in her autobiographies, whereas Diana chose confidentiality and millions from the Queen. Fergie still lives with Prince Andrew at Windsor's Royal Lodge, a fact which has led many royal watchers to hope for a romantic reconciliation between the royal pair. This week, the Duke and Duchess of York are thought to be on holiday together, without their daughters Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice. After her swift Balmoral departure, Fergie was spotted getting off a private jet in Spain's exclusive Soto Grande resort. A royal source told The Sun, the Duchess insisted she go on holiday with the Duke to look after him and show the world she stands by him. She feels this is like the old days when they would take on the world together. She knows she has to get him away from all the headlines.